Hi, this is Ethan from Printed Village, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple wave pattern like this using the liquify filter. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is open a new document, and a thousand by a thousand pixels is good. Yes. Put that in. And now that you have your new document, first you're going to want to just put down a background color, some sort of an oceany blue. I picked this nice navy color. And once you've got that, just make a new layer and get out the brush tool and pick another lighter color that you want to be the base color for your waves. I chose this aqua color for that. And now I'm just going to size my brush up and holding down shift, I'm going to draw a few straight parallel lines all the way across the document just however thick you want your waves to be. I'm going to go with five rows. So now that I've got that, I'm going to just add a little bit of shading to the underside with this lighter uh, color. Zoom in. And then again, just size the brush down and holding shift, draw those straight lines across. You can be creative with this. You can shade them however you want. You, you just kind of have to do trial and error once you apply the filter to it. So I'm just going to add some sort of random patches in too. That looks pretty good. And then finally, a highlight it's for the tips of the waves. And again, you can be kind of creative about how you apply this. I'm just going to put them in sort of randomly. But de depending on the effect that you want, you can put them anywhere. That's about enough. And right, now for the fun part, go up to the filter menu and go down to liquify right here. And this will bring up the liquify menu. And you have all kinds of options in here. First thing I want to do is make sure that the forward warp tool is selected. And I like to use a relatively high brush pressure. I've got it set to 89 right now. Pretty much anything between 70 and 100, depending on how sharp you want the waves to be. And then size, size your brush down a little bit. And basically all you're going to do is you're just going to draw straight through these lines like this. Just keep doing that to build those waves. I like I like them to curl forward a little bit, but you can also make them go straight up and down. And you don't have to make waves with this either. Depending on how you draw, if you just play around with it, you can get all kinds of watery textures with this setting. All right, and once that looks good to you, you can just hit OK. And there you go, you have sort of a simple water pattern and like I said, you can you don't even have to use parallel lines. You can really play with any kind of color and just sort of push it around and make it more liquid. So I hope this helps you guys out on your nautical submissions and have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Bye.